Hi guys, Gunchin Pit and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Um, we've just leveled our archery up to level 40, thanks to Fire and Down. We've still got um, two levels that we can train. What I thought I might do is uh, just test out how we are combat wise at the moment. And the easiest way to do this, quite an easy mission to do in Whiterun, where we have to go into the Hall of the Dead and uh, to retrieve an amulet of um, Arclay for the for the monk. Basically what's happened is um, the the dead in the Hall of the Dead have um, risen in the form of skeleton warriors and we just have to go take them out. So let's go do that. Just more than anything else to try and gauge um, how difficult everything else is going to be. Now the Shrine of Arcade. I can't actually remember what blessings it gives us so I'll just check that. Fortify health. It increases our health by 25 points, which is quite useful for seven hours. And now all we need to do is find the monk, which is, here he is, Anders. Tell me, do you believe in mighty R.K., god of life and death? Uh, the god of death, I know him well. Uh, the gods are a big part of my life. I'm not sure, tell me about him. The god of death, I know him well. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. Here we go. You see, I've lost something precious. What did you lose? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. Okay. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Of course I will. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Okay, you do that. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to go with the, the hunting bow first of all. I was going to go into sneak mode just in case we can get a sneak attack on the, the skeletons. I can hear them. I just can't see them. Uh oh, they can see me though. Yes. Oh, we're not doing any damage hardly. Three three hours it took to take him down. And that was with a sneak attack. There's another one. Hatch is increasing at least. I just can't see him. Uh oh. Oof. I'm good for that. My damage. I mean, that, that was just one swing and he's already got me to half health. So. Not good. I'm not sure, I'm not too convinced that um, Emma Shard Mine is going to be a good idea. You know, we can try it. All the bad guys. I don't hear anymore. So I think we're safe, so time to room raid. See what the skeleton had in him. Take it all. This is all coming with me as well. Anything else? Over here. Oh, what's that? Unusual gem. Bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. Right, so we've got another side mission. So it's definitely worth coming down here. Thanks. 
Healing, bizarrely. Silver necklace and another axe. So we'll have all of that as well. Anything useful in here? Well, well, take those. Take that. Coin purse, nice one. Another coin purse. Death Blow of Arbanol. Ooh, excellent. A block skill book. So yeah, this mission was definitely worth it in the whole of the Dead in White run. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. But it doesn't really fill me with much confidence for taking on Ember Shard Mines. Well, let's turn it in and uh, see what we get for it. With this terrible war, I'm a bit overwhelmed, as are the catacombs. Okay, I found your amulet. Oh, thank okay. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Ooh, gold is good. Oh, 15 gold. Not exactly overwhelming, is it? The blessing of RK be upon you. Okay, and that's that one done. Okay, so let's just have a quick check out how our skills are going. So Archer is at 41 now. Um, smithing we need to get to 30 as quickly as possible so that we can make ourselves an elven bow. Sneaks at 27 so we need three more to get it up to 30 so that we can use the uh, one-handed attack. And how's alchemy? Alchemy is at 20, we need to get it to 40, so we can, uh, that our poisons and potions will be 40% stronger, which also means 40% uh, more valuable. Um, because we have two points of training uh, left that we can use. Well, first of all, let's sell off the crap that we picked up in there. What time is it? Oh, it's night time. Let's see if we can catch them before they close. Is he open? Okay, let's see what he's got on him. Hello friend, in the market for some hunting supplies? Take a look. Okay, first we'll check out if he's got anything useful. That's interesting. I mean, we're, we're packing a hunting bow at the moment, and this imperial bow actually does more damage. So it might be worth changing out. There's 15, and the imperial bow does 17. Has he got any other type of bow on him? No. All right, so we'll take the imperial bow. And has he got anything useful here? Food, not bothered. Lock pick, always. Okay, let's start selling our stuff. I mean, he's got quite a lot of gold, actually. He's got one, 1,176 for some reason. So um, let's start selling stuff off. So that, that, that. You can also have that. Not interested in the food. Interestingly, he'll only buy these ingredients, but uh, they're actually some of the most useful ones, so no chance. So yeah, that's that done. Uh, let's get over to the blacksmith now and see if we can improve the Imperial Bow even more. Actually, before I do that, I should uh, really favourite it. Imperial Bow, favourite. Okay, let's get over to the grindstone, see what we need to actually improve it. Stealing at 17 to 19, so um, that's improved. And we might as well use the smelt while we're at it.
Okay, so far so good. Okay, so everything's at fine. Um, so yeah, let's get over to Arcadia. Because what we could do is mix our first potions. And hopefully that pushes over over to level nine. Let me know if you see anything you like. Take that, because it's free. Well, and let's see if she's got any other useful ingredients. Pale. Could be I think I can teach you a thing or two. Just wanna do that. And are we going to level up? Oof, so close. Right, let's see what she's got for sale. So you're an alchemist then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blue man's fire. Find them all over the place. Garlic juice, so we'll have that. Juniper berries. Rock Warbleg as well. And wheat. Actually, I'll take the bone. Okay, so uh, let's start mixing our first potions. Now, the first one we're going to make is um, a couple of combat potions. And the first one, let's see if we've got all the ingredients. Do we have Death Bell? We do. Do we have red mountain flowers? We should do. <laughs> we've been collecting like crazy. Yeah, we do. And also salt pile. I think we've got tons of those. So we'll make five of these. These are potions of slow. And what these do is they basically um, reduce the speed of the enemy by 50% for 31 seconds. And it also do 19 uh, points of poison damage. And as you can see, we've also leveled up. But I don't want to use all my ingredients straight away, so we'll just make uh, four of these. So we've made one, two, four. Okay, next on the list we have imp stool. Yes, we do. Do we have smoke uh, swamp fungal pot? remedies for ailments both common and rare. No, we don't. Let me know if I can be of service. What's next on the list? Uh, Forty-five marksman. Let's make that. Uh, that's dried. Uh, Elves leaves, where are those? There they are. Elves ear, sorry. That's 20 of those, so we've got tons. And juniper berries, we've got 10 of those. So I'll just make one just to show you. And there you go, 45 marksmen. What that does is bows will now do 25% more damage for 60 seconds. However, if you throw some garlic into the mix, it actually... Um, in, uh, regenerates the health 31% faster for 300 seconds as well as an extra bonus so um, that's not bad not a bad idea actually as you can see it's actually worth more as well 123 308 make a few of those okay next on the list um, and this is actually the most expensive potion I think you can make in the game. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but that's Giant's Toe with Blue Mountain Flower and Blue Butterfly Wing. Woof. And as you can see, Alchemy is shooting up now. Uh, next on the list, we could make an Anti-Dragon Potion. Anti-Dragon Potion is Dragon's Tongue, we only have two at the moment. Uh, but you mix that with Snowberries, which I think we have quite a lot of. Snowberries, 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 yep, there they are. And Purple Mountain Flower, which I think again we should have tons of, 29. So I'll make just one of these just to show you. And as you can see, um, it resists 19% of fire damage and also frost damage for 60 seconds. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next on the list is we could make a 
Fortify Health Potion. This is actually one of the best um, potions to make for two reasons. It's worth quite a lot and it also levels up alchemy quite quickly. So as you can see right now, um, the alchemy bar is between 26 and 27. It's pretty much halfway. But what you do is you mix um, Blue Mountain Flower, which you've got tons of, together with Lavender, which we should have quite a lot of, um, and also Wheat, which again, uh, just from the run from Riverwood to White Run, just calling it all the farms, we've already got all these ingredients. So it's not like we had to risk ourselves or go into any more dangerous areas of Skyrim. And as you can see, this makes a fortify health potion, which at the moment is only worth 190, but the bar is already shut up. So if we make one, two, three, four, one, two, three, seven. And there you go, I mean, it's really shooting up um, our bar. Another one we could make is, do we have any dragon's tongue left? Here we go, we've got Dragon's Tongue, and if we mix that with Flyamantia, which I think we picked some up randomly, yep, there's one, and also Mora Tapping, which are those toadstools I've been collecting from um, trunks, there we go, well we can only make one so we'll do it, um, and what this is, is a Fortify Stamina Regen Potion, which is worth 514. And check out the bar. I mean, it's shot pretty much halfway up. Just a shame we don't have any more ingredients at the moment. Another good one. Let's see if we've got um, bone meal. Do we have any? Yeah, bone meal. Mixed with blue mountain flower. There we go. Blue mountain flower. And chicken egg. And again, this makes a poison of damage magic regen, which is worth 366. I mean, we won't get 366 gold at the moment, not with our speech the way it is. Um, but it's, it's again, it, I mean, we're pretty much close to levelling up. So I'll make one more, just to push us over to 29. And don't worry if I'm going too fast. Um, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to leave all these ingredients, in, these potions in the in the comments. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Clear that. Do we have any bear claws? We do. So we could mix some bear claws. Again with the ever famous blue mountain flower. So you know, this is probably one of the most important ingredients in Skyrim to be fair. Pardon me. And we'll also throw into the mix some rock warbler eggs, which we got from uh, Markarth, um, just behind the, the taxi. And um, where are those? There it is. We'll make just one of these. And there you go, we've made a uh, Poison of Damage Magicka Regen, which is again worth 527. So it's quite a good potion. And again, uh, the Alchemy Bar's pretty much almost leveled up to 30. Um, and what else can we do? I sell cures for all ills. Snowberry and Blue Butterfly Wings, I think we've got quite a few of those. Blue Butterfly And this is a Fortify Enchantment Potion, which is only worth 14, but this is more of a personal item that we'll be using ourselves. And for 30 seconds, items are enchanted by 6%. Um, it's just mainly to show you, because at the moment it's not really worth making more of those, because they're not really going to help us out too much. But we could make a... Do we have any glowing mushrooms? No, we don't. So yeah, what I could do is um, I'm going to bang out some more fortify health potions that we can then sell on. Um, so blue mountain flower, I'll make seven. So blue mountain flower, lavender and wheat. Lavender, lavender, lavender and wheat. So I'll make seven. One. Okay. And then I'll make some more. 
blue mountain flower again and we'll throw in some bone meal I make three of these and also chicken's eggs I'll be happy to serve you. one three excellent okay let's get this sold pardon me I think I can teach you a thing or two I'm already at full So what I should do first of all, let's level up. The Statue of Arcane is in effect as health is in in green and it's 125, not 100. Yeah, so that's kind of good. Oof, and as you can see we're almost um, at the point of leveling up again. So it's probably a good idea. Come back anytime if you need a how much how much money have we got? 494, not that much. And this video is um, dragging on again. So I'm gonna sell some potions. Take a look. Okay, let's see what she's blue mountain. No. Right, let's sell some of the potions that we made. So as you can see the um, Poison of Damage Magica is 120. She has 1785. So we might as well sell. And we're also going to sell that. Poison of Slow we're going to keep hold of. Fortified Enchanting is not worth anything really. Fortified Health is worth uh, 303 so that's gone. Fortify health. Sell all of those. She's got 89 left over, so. So one more of those. So we're now back to two, 2,254. It's like I say, uh, these potions are really good. I mean, we've gone from 400 to 2,000 gold in the space of a couple of minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do my usual trick and uh, just so that we can get some serious training in. I'm going to cut some more wood. Um, I'll sell that. Um, so I'm going to cut another 400 wood, so that will make our gold from 2,000 to should be 4,000. And I'll meet up with you guys in Markarth so that we can go up to the Warrens and do some more sneak training. Sound like a plan? I think so. So yeah, as always, um, I hope you found these potions useful. Um, they're really a great way of getting your um, cash flow going. The only problem is if there is a danger that you can actually miss the opportunity to, to level up if you go crazy crafting them. So I'm trying to keep it as um, just just making the minimum at the moment. But I mean, you've seen it. We've got tons of ingredients. We could have banged out loads of potions. Um, but I'll do that a bit later on. Uh, so yeah, as always, um, I hope you are finding this series interesting. I hope you are sticking with me. Um, I know it's quite slow paced at the moment. Um, but you know, once we've got a character to a certain level, we can then start taking on some missions. But right now, to be honest, if we try the Bleak Falls Barrow, we're probably going to get cut to shreds by the first bandit we see. Um, so we still need to work on our character a little bit more but at least we've improved our weapon now we have something that packs a bit of a better punch and hopefully over the next couple of episodes we'll get to a point where we can actually start taking on some bad guys alright guys, as always uh, thanks for watching, take care and peace